Scourge is perhaps one of the most beloved villains, no, characters in the entirety of Warrior Cats. Despite his low page time with him only appearing in The Darkest Hour, his own novella, and a few short stories, he's perhaps one of the most well-known characters. For example, I searched up Warrior Cats on Google, and not only was he in the recommended search bar, he was the eighth image in the image selection out of every single character. Scourge is also a favorite target for fan content. I can't name a single person who has not made an OC who was inspired by Scourge's sinister clan, Blood Clan. Scourge also has hundreds of maps based on himself, with more being added every day. Based on this, you might be a tad bit shocked when I say, I don't really like Scourge. You're only doing this to be controversial, you might say. While I do enjoy a bit of controversy, I do have good reasons for not liking him or at least believing he is very overrated. So hear me out in this video as I discuss why I consider Scorch to be bitterly overrated and how that could change for me, depending on what you change about the books. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I post Wings of Fire and Aurora Cats content regularly so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Without further ado, let's begin. Just a disclaimer, I like Scourge as a cat. I think his backstory is killer, and that he is as well. The visuals of a tiny, apprentice-sized cat slitting a giant one like Tiger Star head to tail is a bit funny to me. But the thing is, when it comes to his function in the series, I really don't like him and what he does. Let me explain. For five books, we have this villain, Tiger Star. We get to see how ambitious and deadly he gets. In the first book, he kills a previous deputy and is rewarded with becoming the deputy soon after. He's kicked out of the clan, but becomes leader anyways. He tries to kill the entirety of ThunderClan with dogs, because if he can't be leader, then no one can. But even though he fails, he still kills their leader, and he remains in control of ShadowClan. The struggle against him feels hopeless due to the buildup. No matter what Firestar does, Tigerstar survives, and is somehow he always comes up on top. His evil behavior seems to be rewarded by the universe. While he's just a cat, and we know that, he appears to be some inevitable force of nature that could never be destroyed. So when Tiger Star shows up at the gathering, backed up by not only Shadow Clan, but also the ruthless mercenary like Blood Clan, pulled from the depths of the Two Light Place, we can't help but feel fear for Firestar. How could he possibly overcome Tiger Star? However, that question is never answered. At least not until Omen of the Stars, several years into the future. Be a Scourge, a cat introduced in that same book decides to kill him. In one blow, he takes all of Tiger Star's nine lives. While the moment is cool, the imagery of this amazing, tyrannical giant cat being slit to neck to tail by a cat no bigger than Apprentice, the moment just doesn't kill off Tiger Star. It also kills off five books of buildup to an inevitable confrontation between Tiger Star and Fire Star. Even worse, we have no clue who Scourge is. Until Rise of Scourge was published, the only thing we knew about him was that he was a cat who controlled Blood Clan and who was pretty short. The fact that he's related to Firestar, which is thematically important, isn't stated anywhere in canon either. You might say a lot of cats are like that. They never appear in the main series or only briefly and then are flushed out in the super editions or graphic novels like Hawkwing and Goosefeather. However, neither of them had nearly the impact on the story that Scourge had. Scourge changed the course of an entire arc. Because we know so little about him, and his surprise killing a tiger star was not built up to, I find it a bit hard to connect to him. Once the initial shock of the death of tiger star wears off, I'm left a bit unsatisfied. There's a reason why the Aarons eventually made the final confrontation happen in The Last Hope between Firestar and Tigerstar, and it's quite simple that the fans wanted to see them face off. Though I dislike the surprise killing, I certainly don't think it's unsalvageable. It is strong in its themes. Two cats from the Two Leg Place try to join the forest, but get a different reaction, leading to their lives going in two separate directions. Firestar and Scourge are even brothers. They are perfect foils from each other. The reason why the surprise killing was so unsatisfying is that we do not know who Scourge was, and he also came out of nowhere. Fortunately, those two things are an easy thing to fix if you change just a few things in canon. An easy way to introduce Scourge without changing too much is through Princess, Fireheart's kitty pet sister. Princess could inform Fireheart on what's going on within the Two Light Place. 
She might ask him if any of the warriors of the forest have gone there, because there are a group of cats calling themselves Blood Clan who are stirring trouble near her, and she only knows the clans from the forest. Maybe later in the series, when Cloudpaw gets captured, ThunderClan encounters Blood Clan on their way back from rescuing him. Though no blood is shed on that occasion, they can tell the ruthless rogues are not the forgiving type, and would shred them if they set paw on their territory ever again. By giving Blood Clan a name and maybe even a scene where they are a threat to our protagonists, we can build up fear about Blood Clan. Because of that, when Blood Clan finally appears, there will be a payoff after a long setup, which will excite readers. Another thing that I feel could improve Scourge in my eyes is delving more on his relationship with Firestar. Despite being half-brothers, the fact that they are related never comes into play in the books, and is probably something they came up with afterwards out of nowhere. By showing the two are related, the two become stronger foils for each other. But how could this happen? Maybe by introducing Jake. Introducing Jake would allow the two to know they are half-brothers in canon, which will make them even clearer foils to one another. Jake is also an adventurous soul, so I could easily see him getting involved in the plot in other ways as well. Perhaps he decides to join the war on a side. Maybe the Lion Clan side where he will reunite with Tossstar and the two will rekindle the flame of their romance. I think I'm getting ahead of myself and this is a bit, uh, fanfic -y. Another way is to have Firestar and Scourge interact directly. This will also help build up the menace factor for Scourge. Maybe before the gathering with, Fi with Tiger Star, Firestar learns of Blood Clan and seeks out their leader to urge peace. I think it would be a bit hard to set up a conversation about them being related to happen naturally, but at least they can be set up as foils. Maybe Scourge learns that Firestar was a former kitty pet. He laughs and Firestar's a bit horrified because he honestly sounds like Fox with laughs. And he asks him, what is he laughing about? When I sought out the clan, I received nothing but blood. And so, blood I sought out. But you, when you went to join them, you found love and so, love you craves. I wonder if you had stood where I stood, felt where I felt, and even a brave and noble warrior like you would have not created this clan as well, Scourge explains. Firestar bristles at the accusation, having seen how Blood Clan treats its weak. No, Scourge, you said it yourself. You sought blood, I sought love. You had a choice in this matter. Scourge flicks his tail and tilts his head. What do you say I made the wrong one? Look at the strength of my clan. Even the wildcats in the forest have bowed down to me, like you are doing now. I'm once again gonna cut myself off right there for being a bit too fanfic -y. but I feel like a scene where similarities were highlighted would add a lot to the series. I understand that it's already implied, literature needs subtlety, but I just wish that more was done with Scourge in the books. Though Scourge is a good character, I find him severely overhyped in the fandom, and a bit of a missed opportunity in the books. There's a reason why the Aarons keep on returning to Blood Clan, whether it be through Greystripe's Bow or the novellas, like Raven Paws novellas. By adding more buildup, we can make Scourge more present in the books and more of a threat within his arc, helping him live up to the reputation that the fandom has deified him with. But anyways, that's all I have to say on the topic. What do you have to say, and what's your thoughts on Scourge? Do you think he's overrated? Is there anything you would change about his story? Comment down below! If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and War Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who've already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Peace, Rogan out.